Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play I Want to Be the Love Drop. I'm Captain Forrest Falcon, and today we are going to be tackling my least favorite segment from this game. Uh, I, I just don't really like this one in particular. I feel that it's, out of all the segments, it's probably the least creative and just the most bland overall and one of the most painful to get through. Uh, I mean, I suppose there's some nice timed jumps in there and everything, but I don't know. I just don't particularly like it too much, so hopefully I'm going to be able to get past this first segment any day now and we'll be able to take care of this sooner rather than later. Yes, yes. Yeah, you can actually uh, go and reach that save point from the other side, but that jump is just a little bit frustrating for me, so I actually prefer to do this whole bit in one take. Okay, so now we have yet another drop segment. Yeah, that's one of the things that this area seems to have a real liking for, is doing these segments where you have to drop down. And it's not exactly too easy your first time. Or your third time, or your fifteenth time, for that matter. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just died by jumping into spikes. I, it's one of the frustrating things for me I, when it comes to this kid. I feel that when you jump, he likes to extend his head and feet as far out to make himself as tall as possible. Nice. Yeah, I always prefer to do a running start from there. Your, your only real danger is that you will hit that spike with your head. But if you somehow don't get miss your double jump opportunity, if you hold right, you should be able to land safely on the other side. So, it's pretty cool. Okay, nice. Trigger the spike, and now we will do the loop-de-loop -loop under and fail. <laughs> but in all fairness, this segment really isn't that long. It's only got a few save points. Like... Probably the worst part, though, is still yet to come. It's a little thing that uh, people love. It's called, we're going to call it spike weaving for the sake of it. Probably because that it, that's what it is. You know, everyone loves those segments, the ones where you drop and you have to dodge all the spikes. Well, this one is like that, and it's got a little twist at the end that makes it extra annoying. Okay, can I do this right? Yes. Okay, so now we have reached probably what's going to be killing me the majority of the rest of this episode. Unless I somehow do this miraculously well. Okay, you know what? Bowser, Roach, you're good and all, but I'm going to do this without you. I think that's what's going to help me here is just a little bit of silence. You know, just a little bit of silence to just help me get through this. It'd help if the game stopped lagging and all. Sheesh. Give me a second, guys. I'm going to see if I can do something about that. Okay, that's much better. And probably I'll just put the music in post for the rest of this, but... Holy balls, that's so much faster now. Suddenly I feel like this is how it's supposed to be. Yeah, I just sort of started playing without actually testing to see how much it was lagging. Almost made it there, but... Yeah, this is a lot closer to how fast this game should be going. So, I guess, um... Since there's not really anything I can say about this, because pretty much you can tell exactly what this is from watching me play... Um... What have I been doing lately? Um, one of the things that I've been doing is I've been sort of... Busily building away some Mario Bros. X levels. And of course, some of them are inspired by, um... I want to, my I love of I want to be the guy, but... Yeah, I'm, I've been working on those, and I'm actually helping a friend... A couple friends with doing their actual world thing. And it should be good. I, I actually enjoyed it. I've done one that's sort of inspired on a marina-type area, and has Bowser's sub in it. And it's it's okay. I I could probably do some improvements on it, but anyway, that's enough save jumping there. I think that I've made my point. 
Actually, we didn't expect to get through that that quickly, so that's very good for us here. Wow. Actually, surprised. That went surprisingly well. A lot better than usual. Give me a second to bring the sound back. Okay, so we're back, and... Wow, that actually went really surprisingly well. I didn't expect to uh, be dealing with this spike segment, weaving segment quite as well as I did there, but hey, we did it. We're done. And now we get to the joy of fighting a rather tedious boss. So what this guy does, this blonde kid here, is you have to shoot him in the front, but you can't be looking at him when he turns around. If you're actually looking at him when he looks at you, you'll end up frozen and then a cherry will fall and kill you. He's kind of a dick. And also, if you're moving when he happens to be looking at you, you will get frozen. This is a lot more problematic in his second version. Because, um... As you'll notice here when I'm shooting at him in the back, the bullets there are flying up off into space, but on his second version, they will actually be flying back at you, so they're a lot more dangerous. Because your bullets actually kill you. Because everything in I Wanna Be The Guy Games is supposed to kill you. I, I really, really, really hope that I don't die here. Because this boss is... Gonna be a bit problematic if I have to do him more than once. Oh, and also those cherries get a bit more sporadic, so it's a bit harder to time shooting him in the back. I'm gonna try and get positioned nicely so I can hit him from the furthest distance away. Nice, got a full volley right there. The key to this is just be patient. If you try and rush this, you're going to get caught off guard. And also, if you're moving and he sees you, the bullets won't do damage to him. Which kind of sucks. There we go. Yeah, I was a bit nervous there because I thought he'd actually spotted me that round previously. That's the thing you have to be careful with, is that... Sometimes he turns around really fast, so the best practice here is better safe than sorry. Because, oh, he's so close. Yes, got him. Take that, you stupid blanket. And I've got this great record going right now of not dying to bosses on camera. I'm pretty pleased with that. Welcome to my favorite area in the game, the bad apple section. Oh, baby, I'm going to love doing this. This is easily my favorite platforming in this whole game. And from the music, you should also recognize it from the outro that I've been using for these videos. So, we are going to be tackling this next time. And as you can see here, they've given you a little bit of a guide, so just stick to the square sections, watch out for those spike rows, and you'll be golden. It's going to be some good fun ahead, guys, so thank you all so much for watching, and may you soar like the amazing falcons you are, and have a wonderful day. Peace out!